What's going on YouTube and welcome back to the Kryptonite Mining Channel. So I just want to jump on here real quick and talk about the new Gold Shell Owl Box that is coming out next month. I really love Alethium. I'm kind of bummed out that it's no longer going to be GPU mineable. When this Owl Box comes out, it's going to completely, completely knock GPUs off the network. So for example, I have eight 3060 Ti's right here just running, and they are currently running at 870 watts with the motherboard and all eight graphics cards. Alethium has an awesome overclock setting. Uh, it takes really low wattage to get a good overclock setting. I have each card running at just 100 watts with the motherboard at 70 watts. So eight cards plus the motherboard, that's 870 watts. Now. This freaking owl box right here is coming in at 180 watts. So literally pretty much one of my cards and the motherboard. I'm getting 10 and a half giga hash. 10 and a half giga hash versus 360 giga hash. And they're only using 180 watts to get it. And with these GPUs, it's taking 870 watts just to get 10 and a half giga hash. So right now, only GPUs are mining it, which Gocho's about to release this one. It reminds me a lot of the Kadena miners. They had very small Kadena miners that first came out and they were extremely profitable with some of those people that bought those Kadena miners at the perfect time. And then of course they come out with bigger monster Kadena miners, KA3 and other Kadena miners. The same thing's gonna happen with this Elithium miner. It makes it so frustrating when Bitmain, Gocho, and these, these ASIC minor manufacturers sit there and purposely make these smaller machines because obviously they're in they're in it to make money so they're going to make you a smaller machine they're going to sell it they're going to run up the network then later on down the road whether that be six months a year depending on the price of the coin and all that stuff they're going to eventually come out with a more profitable miner that will eventually knock this smaller miner that's incredibly profitable right now at $90 a day after power cost. Right now it's going at around $11,700. So I advise you not to get that. It's that that is going to go down dramatically as soon as all those miners hit the network when the first release releases in May. That $90 a day is going to go down drastically. So please check out this video right here so you have good insight on exactly what you need to do before you purchase an ASIC miner and what type of thought process you need to be in before you purchase one of these. Anything you see on my channel is not financial advice. So this owl box right here, you could possibly buy it at this $11,000 price. This coin could 20X, 10X, whatever, and it could be an awesome investment and make your money back plus a profit in two months or it could stay where it's at and all those miners get on the network and that profitability go down dramatically. So along with that, the price of this machine will go down just like the KA3 Kadena miner, for example, it was $10,000 when it first came out. As soon as all those KA3 started releasing, just a couple months later, that price went from $10,000 down to $3,000. It could have went the other way though. Kadena could have shot up to $10 a coin. That machine could have tripled in price. You never know, it's a gamble. But that's why I say do your own research. It's not financial advice. Anyways, I really love a lithium. You know, I may pick up one of these miners when it goes down in price. I might trade some Ethereum for this miner if it goes down to that two to three thousand dollar range but once again that all depends on where the price of the lithium goes you know i really love the lithium i think it's an awesome project i hate that there's going to be an asic miner in a way but if i do end up getting one of those miners then i will be happy about it but i am saddened that it's going to knock my gpus off the network so i am mining a lithium right now on my gpus and I uh, plan on continuing mining Alethium until it is no longer profitable. I'm holding all the Alethium, not selling any of it. I'm just gonna hold it um, and just just hodl, hodl, as they say. 
I'm not selling any of it. I'm hodling it and we're just gonna see how it goes. But as soon as a lithium is no longer profitable with GPUs, I'll just probably head over to what's mine and start mining one of those Pal coins because it seems to be the thing that's pumping right now. Or I may go to some other project that I'm looking towards. Or who knows, I might try to spec mine and go find some other coin that's not on what's a mine that's new that no one's really mining gather up a bunch of those coins and hopefully that may take off so anyways guys i appreciate you checking out my video go check out some of my earlier videos when i built this building right here by myself that i'm standing in to build this mining room check out my story from when i first bought about 14 30 80 gpus ended up selling those to buy a k3 cadena miner then got these 30 60 ti's videos about how I got a little Raspberry Pi solo mining thing for Bitcoin to get that as of the other day it is now 3.12 Bitcoin as the block reward before that it was 6.25 but now we moved on to 3.12 anyways guys don't forget to give me a like smash that subscribe button and I'll see you all in the next video kryptonite miner out